Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm Kaylin and today is day 29 of the 30 day Pilates journey, finding your center. So today we are going to mix um, some of our standing work with our mat work and we're going to keep um, transitioning between the two throughout this workout. So you're going to see and feel how the center and the core need to stay engaged so that when we shift from mat to standing, which is a different kind of um, pull on the body, right, and challenges our center in a different way, we can still find that stability and then come down to the mat and reshift there and then come back up. So um, I think it's gonna be a fun workout today. Um, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So let's go ahead and step back to the back of your mat first. And you wanna find this beautiful standing alignment position. So we've been here many times throughout the series. So I want you to spread all four corners of your feet onto the mat, maybe rock back and forth a little bit, maybe lift your toes, spread them out, and then place them back down. And then once you find that rooting in the feet, go ahead and start to pull all the way up, right? In, in through your inner thighs, your pelvic floor, your abdominals, all the way up through the crown of the head, letting the arms rest down by your sides. So let's take a deep breath here, taking your inhale, and then exhale to release. Good, all right, take another deep breath in, inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna bring your chin to your chest, and you're gonna roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Letting your arms be heavy here, Good, and then eventually your hands will come to the mat if you need to bend your knees to do that, feel free. And you're gonna walk your hands out to plank. Now try to do that nice and steady without shifting your hips. Good, we're not here too long. Take a deep breath here in plank. And then exhale, walk your hands back to your feet. Again, try not to shift the hips. Drop into your heels and then start to stack the spine back up to that standing position. Good, inhale here at the top. Exhale, chin to chest, roll it down. Good, hands will come to the mat. We walk out to that plank. Good, drop to your knees if you need to. Inhale here. Exhale, walk the hands back to the feet. Drop the heels around the spine, coming all the way back up. Good, shoulder down. Shoulders down, head lifts. And last one, chin to chest, roll it down. Good, walk those hands out into that plank position. Good, taking your inhale here. And then exhale, go ahead and lower the knees down. Now you're in your all fours. Once you start moving right through cat and cow, inhale to expand, exhale to round. Good, inhale, exhale. Get a few more like that. Two more. Last one. All right, find that long neutral spine here. Right, pelvis is nice and flat, core is pulling in, pressing yourself away from the floor with that upper body. Let's start with that left leg as we start to send it out here to hip height. Good, make sure the hip bone is facing the floor and start to lift and lower that leg, just little lifts. Good, let's do six, five, four, three, two, one, take an inhale here. Reach that right arm long, so opposite arm leg reach. Exhale, round knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen, reach it out. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, round this time, hold it here. Deep in the core, pull everything in and up. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, hold. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lengthen it back out. And then lower that arm and leg down. We're gonna switch to the other side. So right leg reaches back, neutral spine, neutral pelvis. 
Good, little lift here with that leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, hold that right leg reaching long. Inhale, reach that left arm out. Good, pull everything into center here, shoulder down. And then we exhale, round knee to elbow. Good, inhale, lengthen, reach. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Good, hold it here. Take an inhale. Good, exhale. Get another inhale. Exhale. Another inhale here. Exhale, slide the shoulder down, pull the belly in, scoop and round. Good, inhale, lengthen it back out one last time. And then lower it all the way down. All right. Staying with your shoulders over the wrist, press yourself away from the mat. Start to send your right leg back and your left until you're back in that full plank position again. Good, take a deep breath here. Exhale, come into a downward dog type shape. Good, so letting your chest sink down towards your thighs. Nice, straight, strong arms. Now this time I want you to walk your feet up to your hands. So you're gonna walk forward. Good, so you're about a third of the way up your mat. Good, let your head drop down. You're in this rounded forward fold. And then start to stack the spine all the way up to standing. Widen your feet about hip distance apart. And we're gonna move into our squats here. So from here, we've done these squats now many times as well. So shoulders down, core stays lifted. Flexing at the hips with a nice flat back, we inhale, exhale, bring it up. Good, inhale, lower. Good, glutes engage, lift. Good, send the hips back and lift. Good, back and lift. Good, knees, hips and ankles are on that nice straight line. Core is engaged throughout. Good, let's do two more, two. Last one. All right, now staying here and standing. We're gonna transfer our weight to our left leg. Hands can come to the hips. Pelvis stays level. Send this right leg up in front of you, bent knee. Good, feel that stability in that left glute. We start to send this right leg back gonna touch the floor, bend into this left knee as we find a nice lunge here. Now scoop the belly in, keep that right knee lifted. Good, glutes engage. Now you start to press into that left leg, lift back up. Good, and again, you bring that leg back. Good, little lunge here. Good, and then we lift. And again, bring it back. Good, lift. We've got four more. Last three. Remember all that core work we did in that standing, balancing work. Last two. Lots of stabilizing. Last one. Good, lower that leg down. We're gonna switch to the other side. All right, right leg on the floor, left leg in tabletop. Find a nice steady spot in front of you. Start to bring that leg back, lunging back. Engage the glutes, lift back up. Good, bring it back and lift. Get back and lift. We've got four more. Good, make sure that knee is tracking over the ankle, not forward. Last two, good, right glute engages, lift. Last one, good, lift. And then we place that foot down. Awesome. All right. Go and cross at your ankles now. It doesn't matter which one. You're gonna bring your arms to genie arms. We're gonna come all the way to the mat. So go ahead and start to bend your knees. All right, thinking to in a little baby squat. And then you slowly and with control come all the way down. All right. We're gonna come into our full roll up. Your choice if you want bent knees or straight legs. Either way, get situated here, running over the legs, belly pulling back. 
On your exhale, we roll it down. Good, inhale, arms reach back. Exhale, chin to chest, scoop, round, reach it over. Good, and bring it down. Good, inhale back. Exhale, and over. Good, three more. Once you get into the flow of these roll-ups, it just feels so good, right? And you kind of go through that movement, kind of second nature, engaging in all the right places and just flowing so it feels good. Is there a last one? We're gonna scoop up, forward, good, bring it over. And then you'll finish by rolling all the way down on to your back, arms down by your sides. All right, go ahead and bring your legs into tabletop. And start to bring your arms up to the sky. We're gonna move into our ab curls. So we exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, and lower. And lift, lower, last two. Last one, lift and hold, single leg toe tap. You can either wait till that leg comes up before you switch to the other leg, or just go ahead and do a, a switch while the other one is coming up, moving a little bit faster. Good, switch, switch. Keep that pelvis still, lower your head if you need to, and then maybe come back up. Good, three, two, and one. Good, bring both legs into tabletop. Lower back down, arms up to the sky. Take an inhale, exhale, lift up and hold. Good, tap both legs down to the mat. Exhale, lift, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale. This one's challenging for that lower back, so don't tap the toes down if you're feeling any arch in that lower spine. Good, exhale, three more. Three, two, Last one, good, lower everything all the way down. Single leg stretch, lifting back up into the ab curl, bring right leg in, reach left leg out, and then we switch, switch. Good, let's do four, three, two, one, good, lower everything down, take your inhale, Exhale, lift up, hold, double leg stretch. Inhale, lengthen, reach. Exhale, circle, bring it in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. Good, lower it down. Place one foot down onto the floor. Setting up for bridging, arms down by your sides. Oh, take a deep breath here. On your exhale, start to roll the spine up into bridge and lengthening through the knees. And then on your ex next exhale, roll it down and release. Good, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll, lift and lengthen here. Good, bring it down with control and release. So you've got a few more, just like that. And last one. Oh, I did say a few, didn't I? Let's do one more after this. Good. I think I've mentioned Pilates instructors are not always the best counters. <laughs> Usually already thinking of that next exercise. All right, lift the hips up, hold. All right, go ahead and lift and lower. So what that means is watch out if your Pilates instructor says it's time for hundreds, because sometimes you can do more than hundreds. Just a little tip. Good, last five, four, three, two, one, good, lift up, hold here, really squeeze the glutes, open up the front of those hips. Take another deep breath in, exhale, rolling it down all the way. All right, go ahead and keep your feet on the mat, maybe walk them out a little bit. Inhale, arms reach back behind you, exhale, we roll up to seated. All right, this time, scoot forward enough so you can come onto your feet. 
So you're in a little squat position here. All right, so maybe bring your, actually, you are gonna bring your hands to the mat and you're gonna walk one foot back to plank and then the other. So we're back in our plank hold here. Good, take a deep breath in here. Good, exhale, lift the hips, coming into that downward dog shape. And then start to walk the hands back to the feet. We're back in that forward fold. And then start to roll the spine back up to standing. All right, go ahead and walk to come to the center of your mat here. And we're gonna go ahead and bring our feet into that parallel stance here. And the hands are gonna come behind the head. Right, so the shoulders are not up here, they're drawing down, core is in. We're gonna engage the glutes here a little bit because we're gonna start to do a little single leg work here while we move the other leg. All right, so let's start on this right foot and then the left foot, you're just gonna tap the toe down. So engage through that right glute here, find that stability. Now take an inhale here. On your exhale, you're gonna bring that left knee up as you round your upper body forward and then inhale back to standing. Good, exhale round. And when I say standing, I mean lifted. Inhale here, exhale round. Inhale, exhale, inhale. We've got core, we've got glutes, we've got our balance here. Everything's working together. Last one. Good, and bring it down. Now we're gonna do a little um, rotation. So same thing, you're gonna bring that left leg up, but now you're gonna twist, rotate opposite armpit or knee, um, towards the opposite knee, and then inhale back open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Good, exhale, twist. Inhale, good, three more, three. Last two. Last one, good. And then go ahead and bring it down. So take your arms out for a little bit, shake your legs out. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch it all to the other side. It's so coming onto your left foot. Good, find everything here, glutes, core, shoulders. Good, take an inhale, exhale, bring it up, around that upper body, inhale, lower. So for this one, you're staying centered. We'll add that rotation shortly. Exhale, and always know, right, if you need to modify and hold on to something and maybe only have one hand behind your head, that's perfectly fine. Good, inhale, two more. Last one. Good, touch it down. All right, we're gonna do that rotation, that twist. So find all your goodies here, take your inhale, Exhale, twist, upper body rotates towards that lifted knee, and then you open it back up. Good, exhale, inhale. Good, so maybe you're moving faster than I am. Maybe you're moving slower. Doesn't matter how fast you're moving, as long as you're staying stable and strong, right? So this is about as fast as I can go without feeling like I'm gonna fall over. Good, let's do one more, especially on this leg. Good, and then go ahead and bring your feet down, shake out your arms, shake out your legs. All right, now let's go ahead, go ahead and find a wide squat here. So we're turning the legs out in rotation, right? So we do have to engage the glutes here in order to make that happen to find that rotation of the leg in the hip socket, all right? So keep the knees tracking in the direction of the toes and go ahead and bring your hands onto your hips. Think of lifting up here in your center as you lengthen that lower back. And we're gonna start to bend the knees in the direction of the toes. Good, and lift. Good, lower and lift. And maybe your toes are a little bit more this way. Maybe they're a little bit wider. As long as you, again, you can keep the knees and the hips tracking in that same direction. Good, down and up. Lower, lift, good. Lower, lift. Maybe put your hands front and back body to see if you feel nice and strong. 
right? Are you, are you tipping or arching your spine? If you are, think of lengthening that lower back, engaging the glutes there. Last two. Good. Last one. Hold it. Lift your right heel. Lower it. Lift your left. Lower. Good. Right and left. Good. Right. Left. Two more sets. You got this, right? Left. Feeling the burn in those inner thighs. Good. Left. Both heels down. Straighten the legs. All right. Toes come to face forward. You can bring your hands out in front of you, clasping them. We're going to do a little side lunge here. So keeping your feet stable. You're going to hinge at the hip joint, keeping the spine long as you sit back into your healing glute. And then you lift up. Come to the other side. And lift. Good. Lower. Lift. And lift. Lower. And lift. Again, do you need to bring your hands here? It's a nice way to feel if you're arching too much. Good. Lower. Lift. Lower. Now on this side, we're going to come back to this first side. We're going to hold it. Good. Think of pulling everything into the center. So think of pulling inner thighs together, right? Isometrically contracting your feet together as well. Good. Core is nice and tight. One more breath here, and then bring it up. Good, lower to the other side. Same thing, don't hang out in your joints. Pull everything in, tighten it. See how that makes a huge difference here. Engage that glute, three, two, one. Good, hold here, awesome. Now turn, face the end of your mat, doesn't matter which one. Go ahead and bring your hands down. And you're gonna walk your foot, other foot back so you can come into your plank position. Good, holding here. Good, last one. Good, come to your knees, setting up for your tricep presses. So hands are right under the shoulders. Shoulders down, connected to the ribs. Let's start to bend those elbows. Press it up. Good, bend and press and press. Nice job. Exhale, bring it up. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Good, on this next one, you're gonna lower slowly all the way down to the mat. Good, lower, lower. Lower till you come all the way down. All right, setting up for swan. Hands are gonna stay under the shoulders. Maybe reach those legs farther back. Pull the belly in. Start to press into the hands. Squeeze the glutes as you inhale. Lift it up. Good, exhale, lower. Good, and again, press into the hands and lift. Keep those elbows close to the sides. Good, two more, press it up. Last one. Good, and lower. All right, we're setting up for swimming now. For swimming, go ahead and bring your arms forward. All right, legs are gonna be reaching long back. Good, start to engage in your center. Lift upper and lower body and start swimming. Good, just a little longer. Last one. Good, start to bring your forearms now to the mat. Do you set yourself up for your single leg kicks. So try to keep those arms in that parallel position. Start to lift up through your belly and engage through your core. So keeping the arms in parallel, right? It's a little bit more challenging. We gotta stay really connected down through your back body. Lift in your belly. Good, start to flex through your right ankle. We kick, kick. Point, reach, kick, kick, reach, glutes, stay engaged. 
Feel those hamstrings as well as that leg kicks in. Good kick, 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 kick. Good, we've got two more sets. Good, last one and one, good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and press into a forearm plank now. So try to keep your hands here in this parallel position, okay? All right, so come into your full forearm plank, lifting yourself up. Good, beautiful lift in your core, engaging shoulders down. Good, now we're gonna come to our side plank. So we're gonna start to transfer our weight to our right arm as we internally rotate. Come on to that side, come to your knees if you need to. Beautiful here. Good, nice long line. Good, one more breath. Inhale, deep breath and we're just holding here. Good, exhale, release. Good, go ahead and drop your hips down, bend your knees, come up for a beautiful counter stretch. Good, oh, feels so good. Beautiful, go ahead and come back into that side plank, lifting up. We're gonna hold for just two more breaths. Last one. Good, rotate to your forearms and then go ahead and rotate over to your other side. Good. Stacking shoulders and hips, ribs pulling in. Good, deep inhale. Good, last one here. Drop your hips, bend your knees. Coming over for that counter stretch on this side. Good, come back up. Good, step back up into that forearm plank. Good, lift and hold, two more breaths. Last breath. Good, come back into that forearm plank. Good, arms in parallel. Good, hold it here. Good, now we're gonna press ourselves up into full plank. You need to come to your knees to do that. Please feel free. They come up into full plank. Good, take your inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips, start to walk the hands back to the feet. Drop into your heels, round forward, and then roll the spine, coming all the way up to standing. All right, go ahead and walk to your center of your mat and go ahead and face forward. All right, so we are gonna be moving with, by balancing on a single leg, moving from one uh, movement into another, and then we're gonna repeat. So I will walk you through that. So I want you to go ahead and bring your weight into your right leg here. Bring your hands onto your hips. I want you to start to load into that right glute, into that leg, find your core. Start to lift this other leg up, this left leg up into your tabletop position. Now start to cross the ankle over the other knee as you sit into a figure four stretch, All right? So we're just gonna sit and then we're gonna start to press into that glute as we lift up, start to rotate that leg back to center. <clears throat> now start to bring it back into a curtsy squat. So you're gonna squat it down. Good, come right back up. Transfer that weight. Good, bring it back up, cross the ankle and we sit it down. Do the best you can here, right? If you can't do that figure four, just hold this leg in that tabletop position. Good, bring it back, squat it down. Good, transfer, this transfer is hard. Good, lift up, cross. Good, sit it back. Good, let's do that again. Coming up, good, bring it back. Squat it down. Good, transfer. Ah, I did this so much better earlier. Cross the ankle and sit it down. Good, you've got one more on this side. Lift up. Good, bring it back. Squat down. Good, exhale, core strong. Yes, I did it that time. Bring that leg up. Cross the ankle and sit. This time I want you to hold 
this figure four stretch, okay? So really bring this beautiful oh, hip opening in here as you're still stabilizing into this right side. So give me one more breath here, inhale. Good, exhale, stand into that right leg, uncross the knee, and then bring that left leg back behind the other leg and bring your left arm up and over and find this beautiful side stretch. Good, stay lengthened through the back body. Good, one more breath here. Good, coming all the way up. All right, switching to the other side. All right, so start to load into that left leg and left glute. Core is strong, lift that uh, right leg up. We're gonna cross it over into that figure four. Good. And then we'll go ahead and press up into that leg, cross it back, curtsy squat. Good, coming up. Good, lift that leg, cross the ankle over. Good, come down. And again, just find that standing, the standing position here if you can't do that. Um, figure four. Good, lift up, stay engaged here. Ooh, this is hard, cross it over. Good, sit down. Good, lift, good, cross, bring it back. We've got two more, good, lift, cross. Good, so this whole, every movement that you're doing here, your spine is staying nice and tall, right? No rounding. No arching, just stabilizing. Lift, good, bend the knee, sit it back. Good, last one with that curtsy squat. Bring it down, good, lift back up. Good, find that holding, figure four. Woo, this side's tired, wobble in here. Good, pull it all into center. You got this. Find that point to look at and stabilize. If you've noticed, I've been looking down at the floor. <laughs> Got a single point down there throughout this whole thing. Good, stand up. Ah, bring that leg back. Fine, this beautiful side stretch, but engage and lift through here, and then bring this arm over. Good. That's it, one more breath here. Oh, good. All right, come to the back of your mat. Just like we started, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, roll it down. Oh. This time hold it here. Keeping the legs straight first, let your head be heavy, maybe shake it, yes and shake it no. Lift up just enough to let your arms dangle so they're not touching the floor. And just let them circle in the shoulder sockets. So just a nice easy circle, like almost momentum is keeping them moving. And then go ahead and reverse the circle so they're circling in opposite directions. Good, steady the arms, and then walk yourself out. We're gonna come right down onto hands and knees. And I want you to take an inhale here in your neutral spine. Exhale as you round the spine, sink back into that child's pose. We're gonna keep moving this. Inhale as you come forward, back to that neutral position. And exhale. As you round, bring it back. Good, last one, inhale forward. And exhale, round. Good, hold here, maybe reach your arms forward more to let your chest sink down. Good, take an inhale. And exhale, let it go. Good, bring your forehead to the mat if you can. Good, one more breath. 
All right, go ahead and stack your spine up to seated and coming all the way up. Ah. Oh. Day 29, you guys, is finished. That was a tough one. You know me, if you've stuck with me. Those standing balancing exercises, I do them regularly, but they are still challenging. So something I need to continue to work on. So hopefully you guys got some good core and, um, and stability work here today. Um, would love to hear what you thought of that moving up and down from standing to mat. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. We are almost there. We are at day 30 tomorrow. I can't even believe it. So we are gonna do a full body tomorrow, just bringing it all back full center. Um, and we're gonna see how you feel from day one up until day 30. So um, I look forward to that with you. If you wanna continue on with today, I'm gonna go ahead and link um, a, one of my tr more traditional Pilates mat workouts on the floor here. And then I'm also gonna link one of my standing Pilates workouts here. So to today combine the two, um, but if you'd like to check out either one of those, please feel free. Um, thank you guys, and I look forward to seeing you for the last day, for day 30. See you then.